Dr. Michael Rhodes, leading authority in the investigation of psychic phenomena and the world of ESP. Dr. Rhodes. Michael, did you get my letter? Uncle Ray? Don't waste your time reading it. Just get on a plane. What is it? Somebody's trying to kill me. Well, that's a lie. If it was somebody, I'd know how to handle it. What happened? I don't know what happened, but I saw her again just a few minutes ago, right here in my bedroom. And she came at you with a knife. How'd you know that? You said again. You've seen her before? Ever since I came to Bayport. But until tonight, she w would just appear. But tonight, she came at me with that knife. She... All right, I'll catch a plane tonight. I'll be up there in the morning. Good. Thank you, Michael. Goodbye. Good night. I'm Demoris Eaton. We live next door. Your uncle hasn't been very well. Why don't you go up? My mother's with him now. Eaton, I'm, I'm very pleased to meet you. How do you do? My bathrobe. Well, the doctor said rest till he gets I can rest here. just as well out of bed as in it, my bathrobe. I'll go see where the, where the doctor is. For all the good he's doing me. It'd do you a lot more good if you do what he'd say. Oh. Michael, old women. I don't know what I would have done without her and Damaris coming here to help me, though, Michael. It's sure good to see, good to see you. Now, you didn't tell me you were ill. I'm not. It's nerves. Now, I never had a nerve in my body until I came to live here. Uh, Michael, close that door there, will you? What about the woman you saw? What's she look like? Well, I don't know. She's old-fashioned dress, long, big wide collar, some sort of thing on her head. Is she young? Never seen her face. She's blonde. Wears her hair just like Damaris. You've seen her several times? Ever since the first night I came here. Don't tell me it's some kind of dream. It's not just at night that she comes. She comes... She appears, or whatever you want to call it, day or night. She's just as real as... as I am. Have you told anybody? The doctor? No. What about Mrs. Eaton and her daughter? Are they just neighbors? Just good neighbors. Only friends I've made since I came here to live. Why did you come back here to live? Well, you know that piece of property that's been in our family two, three hundred years? Yes. It's a good piece of land, Michael. Well, I went out to take a look at it just to see what could be 
done. Keep busy. I'm, I'm glad you've come, Michael. I don't believe in all that stuff you've been fooling around with, but somebody's got to help me, Michael. Have you got an extra bedroom? Right down at the end. All right, I'll find it. Now, let me get settled. I'll be right back. Fine. Morris Eaton, Bayport. All right. Oh, uh, I, I thought you'd like this room the best, so I brought all your things up. Thank you. I've always wanted one of these. Then I could talk to myself all day long, and nobody would think anything of it. <laughs> you talk to yourself often? All the time. My mother's never been able to break me up the habit. It's funny. Can I help you unpack? No, thanks. I can manage. Oh. I could pretend it was my suitcase and that I'd just been on a long, long trip somewhere. You like imagining? Yes. Your mother's family came from here a long time ago. And now you're back. I guess it's the way it was meant to be, you and Judge Fletcher. Judge Fletcher? Well, that's what I call your uncle. He looks like a judge, doesn't he? Yes, I guess he does. When you're unpacked, I'll take you down to the land by the shore. The land you and your... Damaris? Time for you to go home, Damaris. I'll stay till I'm sure everything's taken care of. I hope she hasn't been a pest. She can really wear you down, imagining, pretending. I was hoping she'd outgrow all that foolishness. Actually, I enjoyed her. Thanks for the flowers. I uh, don't think you'll find too much to interest you in Bayport, Dr. Rhodes. Perhaps I can help my uncle. Perhaps. Oh. Hello. Oh, Dr. Clark. Mr. Eaton, I'd let myself in. Oh. Where's Damaris? Oh, well, she's at home where she ought to be. Oh, I've tried calling her a couple of times this week. Well, maybe she doesn't want to talk to you. Yes. Doctor? Yes. I'm Michael Rhodes, Ray's nephew. How do you do? Gil Clark. How is he? He's not a young man anymore, Mr. Rhodes. He should conserve his energies. If I may say so, he should spend a lot less of his time worrying about developing that Fletcher land he's always talking about. Did he sleep last night? No. Let's see what I can do. Perhaps I can let you know more after I've examined him. Thank you.
You wanted me to follow you. I was afraid you'd forgotten the way. How can I forget? I've never been here before. This is your land, and it has been for hundreds and hundreds of years. Then it'd be a perfect time for you to give me the grand tour, if you're not going home. I am home. This is the only place I really belong. Thought your mother asked you to go home. 